hi everyone and welcome to another video welcome to another vlog thank you so much for clicking on this vlog hey this light is giving <laughs> thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you so much for clicking on this vlog so today's video is going to be different i know me me honor the last four weeks two weeks <laughs> the last two weeks or three weeks have been food recipes because my channel is um apple juke yona kwa my youtube banner yeah it's vlogs recipes and home so on this video it's a vlog it's going to be a vlog so i intend to restock a few things so that means it's going to be a grocery shopping or whole stock fridge restock video i know you'll love that you'll really love that like will that be the only type of video i'll be whole, i'll be rolling or rather posting but anyway yeah so that's vid that's what this video is going to be about i hope you all stay to the end of the chat of the i hope you'll stay to the end of the video it's been a while since i showed my face i hope you'll stay to the end of the video and i think i'll go videoing i'm at showing you all where i'll be shopping for these things just to avoid weirdness because i haven't done that in a while but i will try as much as i can where i can to do that for you all so yes so my kitchen is a bit rusty i have to clean this kitchen before i leave yeah because i do not like coming back home to a rough house also because it just stresses a rough house stresses me so much i love clean spaces a lot so we are going to clean my kitchen with you i'll show you the state i will show you all the state in a bit in a bit in a bit i will show you all the state in a bit and yes so yeah thank you so much for being here I hope you'll enjoy. So this is the state of my kitchen. This is how the sink looks. Kuna some more viombo sitting room. Breakfast I was having. There's a leftover avocado over there. Why is that? What is that doing over there? I have no idea. Then a cake that I had baked. A chocolate cake. You'll see this on my shorts very recently. Eh, very soon. Mkate, aluminium foil. This is left oh, there's leftover food here. This is a leftover half sausage that I was feeling I could maybe bizuri nikaeka over hivyo hivyo. So yeah, the state is just like this. It's an awkward state. I don't like when my house looks like this. So yes, let's have this sorted out. Asap niache ikiwa pasafi, ni come back to a safi place. Also, this interior at interior, this whatever is giving us go vibes. <laughs> it's giving Ushago vibes. But yeah, but the air here is really good and the bad chaps is what I love the most in this place. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, when I scared to bad chaps and the dog. Yeah, without further ado, let's sort this shenanigans. But I don't see Vyombo Mingi. But yeah, let's sort this out. Sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your
I'm done sharing and yes, remember this. Do you all remember this mirror that I got from Panda Mart? So, sir, okay, I think I'll just use this mini. I'm trying to tell my hair. Okay. Anyway, let me just not comment on something here that's a very soft spot for me. So, try to harakisha because it's late. It's about 2.40. Nandiva and one. Anywho, so let me just hold back this cute hair of mine. <laughs> I hope I'm seeing good kiaki. Torakisha, 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 to ready to to fridge restock. Haraka haraka, just then you can catch on that one. I'm going to go fridge restock. I want to just finish all I can do tomorrow. Okay, on immediately. Okay, obviously, I'm tired. Even if I filmed it tomorrow, but chances are likely high that I will film it today. I hope I won't come back so tired because look at my hair. I used to have long hair, guys. I used to have long hair, and then I made a mistake one day. And told another saloon is there back when I was in campus at Yani Trim Newele. Kumbe, the, what the hair needed was just a little bit of like oil and nurturing. And it, I thought it had slip split ends, but it didn't have. Okay, I, I had the most beautiful luscious hair. That woman just cut my hair. Oh my god. I look at even at us. I didn't have the guts to. to to confront her, mbona alikata mingi jo alikuwa nashina, hey, alikuwa nashina kisema, hey, you have long hair, you have long hair, kwa nyele ndefu. Well, that was two years ago, then I did some weird, like some other styles that manipulated my hair badly in a bad way. 
Okay, my hair, guys. <laughs> my hair. <laughs> my hair, my beautiful hair. I'm still so sad. I just get angry. I just get angry. Kabisa, kabisa. Okay, this thing is already two, three minutes long. Tuharakishe. We look presentable. This hair would look so cute with gel upper qua edges, right? Yeah, especially here. My two baby hair. At least my two baby hair survived. So to go presentable. How are we looking? Mm, am I not feeling this thing? I got these earrings. I kitambo like three years ago in Mombasa. I I I bought them specifically to put on into this hole, but apparently this earring is was too thick for the hole. Now I usually just wear it for my day to day errands and just like staying in the house and looking cute and all of that. But I feel like they're baby earrings. Nikona <laughs> story. But I'll have to go. Okay, and then another thing. This perfume. Okay. Where at thou? Oh god. It's called lavish. Lavish. How do these people do this? <laughs> it's upside down obviously because of the camera, but in it a lavish powder la fed. This thing is if you love powder essence. It's so amazing. It's very budget. I guess I got it on an online in an on, on an, in an online store on Instagram, but I've seen it in Carrefour. I've seen it in Carrefour. It's so good. It's powdery. It's vanilla. -y. It smells amazing. It's my favorite scent. I love perfume, guys. I love the film so much. <coughs> ah. Then let me show you something. There's this other one. It's called Say pa Passion. Say Passion. Say Passion. Um, when they're selling it, they said it's a dupe for Say Passion. Say Passion. Whatever. But I don't Say Passion and I know what So. I haven't used much of it. It's still a lot. It used to bamba me kitambo. But nowadays, I don't like it. And then there's this uh, mist that I got during my... In ah, this perfume is just nice. Oh, God. Because of the dry down. Ah, powdery and sweet and vanilla and gourmand and <laughs> nice. This one I got in Mombasa. It's called Amira Mist from Udnura. That's where I get most of my wood things, my wood stuff. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, yeah, that's where I get most of my wood stuff. It's nice, but it's not my fave. I went there looking for something else. Then, okay. Ah, yeah, there's these things. They're called wood balms. Wood balms. Or in Arabic, fitna. The, it's one this one is called we dad okay in it we dad we dad sheha sara i love this this is is this is smoky and sweet and just nice i love wearing this at night oh, smoky sweet woody obviously zote zinanuka wood zote ni za wood but this is smoky and sweet. I love it. With Sheikha. Mm. Sheikha is, according to Udnura, it, it's um it's an Harusi wood. When I eat it, it's 
zaharusi it's also sweet but subtly sweet it's also smoky but not as smoky simbaya pia this we dad one Oops, this one is chill. Haina story mingi. It's not out there, but it's also sweet and floral. It's it's good for um day to day nini background noise. Sorry for the background noise. It's good for day to day wear. I love using it on my hair. Around my neck, behind my ears. Ama, what's not happening? Anyway, so yeah, that's that. The more I go, see you guys. Thank you for being here with me. To make bit bit stories. Kidogo, you don't know me a bit more. So yeah. Guys, two hours later. We will talk about Sangapi. We will talk I don't know if you all can see me, but I hope you all can see me. So, I just arrived. I just arrived. <laughs> With our goodies from the market, hi. Uh oh, what a hookah. I am so hungry. Extremely, <laughs> extremely, extremely hungry. I could eat a whole cow. I was having this. Munani ona, yamu goja. Si shangai kwa nini na tuka kutoka chini. I am coming from down, but anyway, I am so so hungry. I was having this in the mat on my way here. It's the Yola Uji Shake flavored maize porridge lemon flavor. Anyway, I'd initially picked soda, then I was like, no, I'm not in the mood. So I'm about to do a haul for these things very fast. Let me unpack. I went to the supermarket. To get a few things to add on a few things I got some really beautiful and interesting buys. So what I need to initiate is and then I'll come back. So what I want to now let's start with the supermarket items. So what I got is I got whole cinnamon. I love whole cinnamon to put in tea. Wait. To put in my teas, whole cinnamon in tea is really good. And then I saw this really interesting mini. It's garlic mayo, creamy mayonnaise grilled garlic from Lyons. Lyons. Oh, one of the new concealed. So practical and so safe. I want to taste it. Kulikuwa na pia ya chili mayo. Then I was like, okay, chili mayo with cayenne. Then I was like, okay, like that's easy to do. Okay, even garlic is easy. Mmm. Wow. Oops. I feel like clicking. And I will lick. This is so good. Oh. Unatobo apa. Wow. Wow. This mayo is so amazing. Yum. So garlic. Even you have to drill garlic. So good. Kuliko na garlic mayo. Pepper. Hot. Spice. Eh? Hot mayo. Whatever, but it had cayenne pepper, and then there was now the real mayo without anything. But this one is so happy, so nice. I'm so happy I got it. I'll use it for my bread and stuff. Then onion powder. I'm out of onion powder. And the other mini, I had the Cimacia. Cookie Dogo. So I got the new one, a new one. And the other hold that is you saw this. And then I got another 
spice it's the lemon chili seasoning it's the melvin's lemon chili seasoning i had it mahali nilionja mahali and i loved it ngasema press to open ngasema nitaenda nitafute it tastes like ile maembe ile maembe ya madhewa nini mm -hmm. so nice <laughs> it's so spicy iko na lemon na ni chili ndio kuna kachumvi kadogo it's really good if you are a spice if you love spice this with eggs na maembe ile ya jaiva you will love it coconut cream powder this is a staple in this house nala instant nala chicken instant chicken flavored instant noodles we were out of noodles and he likuwa on offer at 100 and 30 or was it 120 so it was a no brainer then mango juice this was 122 essentially uko 150 bob then melon for the whole week this is for i hope you all can see this is at 100 i got this at 100 shillings it's so huge i didn't get this at the supermarket um i put them here first i hope this one is right eco sour i got this i put them here first because i don't know no good reason Cassava. I remember in the other, there was another in my second video I said that I'll, I'll do a recipe but the cassava ended up being bad. I didn't know how to preserve it so I've been told if you buy cassava and you're not cooking it anytime soon, you boil it and put in the fridge. So that's what I'll do with this. I intend to cook this for um some time. Hopefully I'll show you the recipe then. Our roots for tomorrow's breakfast. So yes, this is basically this part. So let me remove, let me show you all everything that I got from the market now. If you are near market, but now let me show the legit things I got from the market. What I got from the market now. Um yeah, so this is cabbage, got it at 40 shillings. And I've been lucky this time to find one that is compact. A 40 cabbage a 40 takes us for one week if we eat so much cabbage or a week and a half the if kuna other greens but this time i did not buy other greens um i got these two weird fruits one was at 20 shillings i think siji moja inaitwa amla maindo amla yeah indo amla is siji ni nini nimesahau jina aliniambia i want to taste them <laughs> this is tomatoes and onions Tomatoes are I got this uh, I got tomatoes worth 120 and vitunguu's worth 130. Vitunguu zangu siku hizi zinaisha mbio so I decided to ongeza them. You usually get vitunguu. These are so nimeongeza tu tatu. Haya hapa there is okra. Let me just open this. Cuz I still have to open it either way. So this is this ginger for 20 shillings I'll have to soak this and wash it off. Yeah, ginger for 20 shillings. Lime. I love lime. The smell of lime is more pungent. The smell and taste of lime is more pungent than lemon. Plus this would really make good mandazi like when you use the rind of it. I intend to do that as well. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, I'm tired. I got five limes. Oh, is it six? 1 2 3 Five. There's a sixth one somewhere here. Yeah, six. Peppers, ten pieces of pepper. Um, what's it called? Bell, green bell pepper. If you watch the other video, you will know what I usually look for when I'm um buying my peppers. Now I got dania for fifty shillings. One, two, no, forty. One, two, three, four. I initially one is at ten, but one bunch like this is at ten. But I initially got in five. Then I saw this. I thought it was basil, 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 whatever. Then I asked that vendor what the what what this is called. Then she told me it's called Royco. I was so intrigued by that and decided to buy. So it's four daniyas and one Royco. Come, come on, any basil. Mutaniambia ni siju ni. Okra the 50 shillings moho ho ya garlic garlic is so expensive 25 bob and then meat for the week in here there is goat 
liver and minced beef. Oh wait, I was about to say yeah, I was about to finish. <laughs> then there is um maize one at twenty shillings. I got three for Giveri or just breakfast to be eaten boiled and waru at one hundred and twenty bob. So yeah, this is everything I got from the supermarket from the grocery. I'm so hungry and tired and I still have to cook. But anyway, so yeah guys. That's everything I got. Now let me arrange them with you people and put them in the right place. So that's how my fridge looks like. I have I have not cleaned it and I'm not cleaning it anytime soon, probably next month. <laughs> I'm too tired, please. So because these are the things that I'll be putting in the fridge. Okra, I'll just put it as is. Um put this down here. These are cold. They're so they're so overripe. I put the over there. And as you can see I had I had tomatoes already, so these ones I'll put them on top and bring the new ones at the bottom. Then to tatunia easy sasa for now. the chilies in the freezer to freeze them that's how i usually preserve my chilies actually i have decided that i'm going to put these tomatoes in the freezer that's how they keep for longer due. Some others are already, yeah. These will stay in the freezer. I don't take them too tight. So this is how my fridge is looking and these are the tomatoes down here. This is ice cream. This is how I preserve my sausages. I wrap them the number of pieces that will be eaten and this is bacon and the peppers so oh and leftover beans gideri osobuko and mini bites so i want to put this nyama that i got i just randomly put them but i feel i know like this is good because of the bone i'll put the goat i'll put the goat together is also good this is definitely liver as you can see i usually don't clean them at this point i clean them when i am cooking then this is means beef so yeah this is everything oops this is everything hopefully this won't disappoint me by leaking blood but yeah, this is how I store them. I know I'm supposed to put them in a container before I put them there, but I feel like I'll be just in the container. Wait, I can actually do that, by the way. Because I have an empty container. Let me see if it will fit here. Perfect. But I still have to share the water. This is a juni in Buzi, the juni in liver, Nanini. So yeah, nice. That was good thinking. So I want to prepare the dania and all of those things I need watering, uh, sorry, cleaning. And yeah, this is vanilla. This is vanilla strawberry. Anyway, maybe I'll sign. Anyway, God is good. So yeah, let's get cleaning.
how they look a bunch of daniyas so they are too tall i want to cut off the roots kidogo About to, I want to prepare these roots, these uh, arrow roots, then next I'll do the cassava. I'm preparing them to bake first, so I have to peel them first and with the boil because I'm not cooking supper right now. And something else, I usually peel these roots, arrow roots specifically, then they make my, my skin itch so bad. So I want to try this hack that I think I saw somewhere oil my hands to to create a barrier between the the root and my skin so I'll do this very fast So guys i believe this is in a bad place and this vlog i am so tired i have more things to do and you've seen these things boiling this is the nduma and i've put them hogo there to boil and yeah this is going to be it for me thank you so much for watching i hope you all, have, you all have enjoyed this video and also my phone is dying i hope you all have enjoyed this video let us meet on my next one bye Oh, 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 oh,